guys, Turbo Tom here from Mad Science. Now I'm here today because my friends over at United Utilities have been having a really, really gross problem recently. And they've asked me to do a couple of experiments to see if we can work out why that's happening. In this experiment, we're going to have a look at what happens to some of the things that you have in your kitchen when you put them down the sink. Over here, I've got a little pot with some salt in it. And over here, I've got some fat that I've melted down. And in the middle, I've got these two glasses that are going to be like the pipes underneath your house. So we're going to pour both of these in here and watch what happens. So I've got my salt in. And I'm going to pour my fat in. And then we're going to give them a stir. So we can see that our salt has mixed into the water really, really well, while our fat hasn't and it's floated up to the top. That's because fat and water won't mix and over time it'll actually start to cool down. Now when this fat cools down it will go from being a liquid back into being a solid. And when that happens inside our pipes underneath our houses, we get these really, really gross things called fatbergs. And then my friends at United Utilities have to go out and fix that problem. Recently, they actually pulled a fatberg out of a pipe that was the size of 52 African elephants. And it was made out of things like fat and baby wipes. It was really, really gross. So there's a couple of things we can do to stop this from happening. One of them is that when your grown-up's been cooking with fat, you can ask them to, instead of pouring it down the sink, to keep it and leave it out until it cools down, and then they can scrape the fat when it's solid into the bin, and it can go out with the rest of your rubbish instead. 